Uh, thank you, everyone. Um, yeah, so yeah, I've kind of diverged a bit here. Anyways, um, this is my, my canvas, uh, the map of North America here. Uh, and the lines here, these lines are the various self-propelled expeditions I've done over the years in North America. Um, and within these lines, this is where I kind of uh, do my, create my films. I've done several films over the years. I've uh, been in several uh, film festivals, uh, broadcasts, that sort of thing. And I find that uh, making films in the outdoors, it's, it's very freeing. Uh, there are no rules, and uh, you're kind of just influenced by the nature around you as far as uh, your subject matter. So it's a very freeing, wild kind of way of making film. But I also have a regular day job. I do work at Mountain Equipment Co-op here in uh, Vancouver. Uh, my nickname is uh, ABC, always be closing, all right? So <laughs> if you come into my department, you're going to go away with a paddle, a PFD, a boat. You're leaving with something. 12 months running, I've been uh, employee of the month there, so watch out. Uh, I also dabble in some backcountry yoga, actually. So here I am in Haida Gwaii leading a session uh, during a circumnavigation of Haida Gwaii. Um, I think I'm trying to bring the, the inside yoga to the outside. That's my goal. Um, so actually later on this month, I think it's going to be April maybe, I'm going to do a little uh, guest uh, yoga at uh, Yoga Pod on Main. So come on out. It's going to be amazing. Um, but my main passion are my films. And you can see here, here's my films, various artistic expressions of my films and poster. And um, my films are not only about my adventure, but also about the surrounding environment. And I try to kind of protect the areas I go through by learning about them and sharing that knowledge. Um, but as a filmmaker, I'm a gang of one. So <laughs> I, uh, I'm behind the camera. I'm in front of the camera. Uh, I wear many hats or leotards, uh, uh, so to speak. Um, and people also ask me, Frank, do you always go solo on your trips? And I do not go solo on trips. I always go with someone. I always go on expeditions with a friend, like someone like Kevin, or here it's Taku Hokoyama on the right there. This is the end of a 46-day journey across the Northwest Territories in Nunavut. And the advantage of going on a trip with me, of course, uh, across these vast wildernesses, is you may find yourself at a fabulous opening gala of a film festival. So Taku and I, after this, we went to the Vancouver International Film Fest, and we were there to make some deals with powerful people. So, uh, so we, got, we both got our power suits on, and uh, we went, we, you know, we were talking to TV executives, uh, movie executives, all the power people out there. We're also walking the red carpet. We're meeting all the industry types, you know, those people. And uh, there's one particular lady I met, I think, at this one on the, oh yeah, there's a, uh, that's uh, 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 I think her, her dress somehow it attracted me, the leopard spots. I don't know what it was there. But the paparazzi got a hold of it. Next thing you know, you're on the cover of Hello Canada magazine. It was crazy. So, but anyways, my passion doesn't actually lie in the city at these galas. You know, they're, they're kind of flash in the pan. I prefer being in the outdoors, in the wilderness, and uh, kind of roaming the landscape. Uh, and this is a, a film I did called Mammalian. And we got lots of big mammals on film in this trip. So here we are actually. Uh, running into the caribou migration across Nunavut. And so when you're kind of light and stealthy and quiet, you're in a canoe, you're walking, you can sneak up in these large mammals and perhaps get something that has never been seen before on film. Um, you're, you're stealthier. So what I did here, this is a muskox. This is not the thing I th that I'm talking about here. We found something that had never been filmed before. So I set up this grass blind in the tundra and I waited for days and days. And finally, the creature appeared in front of my lens. It was the great Canadian snow leopard. <laughs> and there's the snow leopard crawling across the tundra, attracted by the marrow in the bone here. And I happened to get it on film. But when you see something this beautiful, this gorgeous, and so rare, you want to protect it. So I've set up a foundation, the Canadian Snow Leopard Foundation.com. <laughs> and every year at Christmas time, I sell cards, I sell Christmas cards. $3.99 and every cent goes to protecting the great Canadian snow leopard. So at Christmas time, thank you for your family. And also no animals were harmed in the making of this card, so it's fine. Feel good about your purchase. Um, anyways, the next creature I've been inspired by in the backcountry is the mosquito, of course, and the black flies. This is a particular journey through northern Labrador and Quebec we did. And the black flies and the mosquitoes there, they are like, they're like the air. They're thick, they're in you, they're around you. They're, they're, they're getting in your beard and they're becoming a part of you. You're becoming part of them. It's like, it's like an amalgamation of man and mosquito. And um, so this is, a, they got into my beard here and they bloodied me. So what happened, the creature we saw here, it's kind of like, have you seen that Jeff Goldblum film, The Fly? 
uh, when he slowly metamorphosizes from a man into an insect. Well, this happened here as well, and we caught this creature on film, and we called it the man-skeeto. So the man-skeeto is this half-man, half-mosquito <laughs> that we actually filmed in the tundra. Luckily, we had very good no mesh. It couldn't get inside our tent, um, so that was fine. So the last creature I'm going to talk about today um, is, the, uh, is some, something we found actually this past summer. We did a journey from Lake Winnipeg up to uh, Hudson Bay. Um, 1,300 kilometers from Lake Winnipeg up to Hudson Bay through the great boreal forest of northern Manitoba and Ontario. And uh, we heard rumblings of this creature um, that had never been filmed before. It had been filmed once in 1967 uh, in the West Coast. Um, and, uh, but we'd heard rumblings from the First Nations about it, and sure enough, if you look closely, that is actually a Sasquatch print, a boreal Sasquatch print. So we picked this up, we picked the trail up along the way, and we tracked this thing for days down the Severn River. And finally, on our last day, we, uh, we happened to come around a corner, and sure enough, we got the first ever uh, footage of the, uh, there it is, the, uh, <laughs> The boreal Sasquatch, very similar to the Patterson-Gimley Sasquatch of 1967. You see the stride and the gait is very similar. Uh, you can read about this, actually, discovery in this month's issue of Explore magazine. So uh, pick it up on newsstands now. Thank you. There you go. <laughs>